In order to use conditional logic in your forms, you need to follow these steps. Select a blank form. Fill all the necessary details. Now go to the Fields tab and select the drop-down field. Click on Edit Field option. Now edit and choose the options you want to show to your users. In this case, I am keeping the first option as I am already a user and second option as I am a new user. So I will remove these extra options which I don't wish to display to my users. And once these options are set, go back to the form editing mode. Now add the fields you want to display corresponding to each option. For example, I wish that if a user chooses I am already a user option, then he will get an option to enter his existing username and password. Hence, I will add two fields, enter existing username and enter existing password under the same row. Once added, go to the edit row option. Switch to condition tab. Now add condition. Select the drop down option for which you want the fields to be displayed. In this case, it is I am already a user. Now go back to the form editing mode and add fields corresponding to drop down option I am a new user. I'll add fields corresponding to this drop down option. Once the desired form fields have been added, go to the row editing mode option and add condition I am a new user. So now I have added two conditions in this form as desired. So let's check out the preview and see how the conditional logic in advisor forms looks like. As you can see, if I choose I am already a user, then these fields will be displayed to the user. And if you choose this option, then these three fields will be displayed. So guys, now you know how to add conditional logic in advisor forms and how it can be used to create forms with varying options.